Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is the Nine of Legion. Let's play some more Subnautica, where today we're playing with nuclear power. So last episode we finally unlocked the blueprint, almost by accident, for the nuclear reactor. And that gives us the ability to do something called Process Uranium. Uh, I have no idea what that is, but we're probably going to have to find out. So is there anything in here about uranium? Nope. Okay. Interesting. So I'm going to guess it's something that happens in the reactor itself. The nuclear reactor processes uranium into potent energy. 150 power a minute. That's actually a lot of power. If we look at some of the other ones. Thermal plant gives us 50 power per minute. Bioreactor, 40 power per minute. Solar panel, 25 per minute. So that's actually very, very powerful. Uh, we're going to need two titanium ingots and three lead plate and a lubricant. Okay, lubricant is easy. We just need some creep vine to make lubricant, assuming it's back in my menu. There we go. Creep vine seed clusters. That's easy to get. Uh, what? Okay. Lead. Have we made lead before? That's going to be a new one, I think. Lead plate. Two batteries. And we need three of us. We need six batteries. So six batteries. Uh, Ashen mushroom. Easy. Copper ore. How much copper have we got? Uh, there's none in there. One piece there. Four. Five. Okay, I've got five bits of copper. That's all the copper I've got. So we can make a number of batteries if I go and get... I can make five batteries if I go and get ten acid mushrooms. And I can pick up the creep vine on the way. Okay, let's do that. How am I... Oh, wow. Jesus, my plants are... My plants are doing so well. Look at them. That's it. Grow, grow, you glorious bastards. Something to eat that's not fish. It's going to be amazing. Uh, let's double check. Did I leave anything in my inventory on the Seamoth? I did. Creep vine. Um, okay. I'm actually going to dump that by the... For, uh, by the bioreactor over here. Oops. Oh, I, actually, I'm going to ram my sea base first. So, are you... You're still doing okay. You've still got power. We've got some rotten creep vine already there. I'm going to dump the rest of it next to it, I think. I don't know if, if it's going to last, though. I don't know if it's going to be usable. But I can't be bothered to build any external uh, storage for it right now. Because it's creep vine and it's abundant and easy to get. Mostly because it's, you know, we can get some from right here whenever we need more power. Aha, there's some seed pod clusters. So I need to make one lubricant for this to work, which is three of these, if you'll let me have them, thank you. And we're just going to put those straight into the storage on here. This is why I like having the storage on this device it's really handy to actually just carry stuff around. And now we want to go back to the shallows and get some ashen mushrooms. Might be worth, I'm just thinking, might be worth actually cultivating some acid mushrooms. I, I wonder if you can actually plant acid mushrooms. That would be interesting. If we could actually, where's the, oh the shallows are over this way. I'm driving in the wrong direction. Um, okay, I might build a planter outside. I think you can build them on the sea floor, and just see, you know, if we can actually get, you know, if we can actually cultivate acid mushrooms for ourselves, save us actually having to come back all this time, every, all the way over here every time we need them. I mean, I say it all the way; it's really not that far, but still, I'm in a farming mood. God damn it. That's 12. That's way more than I need, but we might as well actually put some in storage if we can't grow them. If we can grow them, then, you know, great. If not, no worries. Welcome aboard, Captain. I think we're also going to need to pick up some more titanium soon, so I might have to do a run for that. We did need some ingots, and I'm not sure I've got enough back at base to actually make some. We'll double check. Luckily, base is not far away. We built our home 
in reasonably close proximity to a bunch of other stuff, including some flo floating rocks, which I thought would look nice out the window, but mostly they just get in my way. Okay, Seamoth is recharging. Power's okay. The solar panels do fine during the day, it's just at night. We've got more water being made. Okay, let's get these batteries made. We are going to have to go hunting for more copper at some point. Unfortunately, I can't automate mining. This is in Factorio. Which, if you haven't played it, is a great game. And that's all about the automation of stuff. Okay. Um, what else did we need for this? Two titanium ingots. Okay, the lead plate I can do straight away. So let's get that made. Yeah. Giant balls. Excellent. I think that's all my batteries got now. Yeah. So we just had enough material to get that done. Put that away. We're going to leave those for the time being. Let's see. How much do we actually have? Not very much. We've only got three titanium there. A little silver as well. Okay, now we do have some more here. And that is probably all of it. So that's enough for one ingot, I believe. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to go out and hunt a few more pieces of wreckage for this to work, unfortunately. I need one more lead plate. Coming back with a whole bunch of stuff like that isn't going to be a problem, though. Uh, oh, and I need to make the lubricant with the seed vine for the tin storage. I knew I was going to forget something. There we go. Man, our sea base is so cool. I love this thing so much. Just awesome having a whole underwater base for us to run around in. Okay. Just need a little bit more titanium. Are these done? <gasps> oh, hell yeah. Okay, that is that is so damn cool. I don't know how much we actually how much food we get out of this. I kinda wanna click one tan down to destruction. Uh, okay, so f was that five or six? I'm not sure. But I can replant it. And just let it be. Uh, now these are going to go off. There's no way of actually storing them, so I guess I might, well, might as well just eat them. But that's a lot of food we're growing there. I might not ever need to eat fish again. I'm perfectly okay with that. Okay. Let's go hunting for some wreckage. If we head back towards the shallows area, we will inevitably come across some chunks of wreckage. We can just start grabbing them. We can actually bring a lot back, so I can put four, four whole chunks of wreckage into my Seamoth storage bay. And each is worth... Whoa, 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 whoa. Game, just, just chill, game. Chunks of wreckage. Where be you? Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's. Where's the Aurora? There we go. Let's head over this way because we can guarantee there's going to be a lot of wreckage by the Aurora. Which, you know, is actually just a big chunk of wreckage itself now. There we go. Our first catch of the day. Fine. Thank you. I should probably be looking out for rock out crops so I can get some more. Uh, so I can get some more copper. But I'm going to worry about that later because it's going to be very hit and miss trying to get that. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's loads of wreckage over this way. I knew there would be. The shallows are always full of this stuff. It's just a shame that the uh, red seagrass region doesn't have any. It just it doesn't. There's no wreckage there at all. And I'm not sure why. It's one of the only biomes that doesn't actually have wreckage. Oop, I hit the ground. That's okay. We've got a welder. We can repair. We can repair. We can rebuild. It'll all be fine. Alright, this should be number four. Alright, there you are. Let's put those into the storage locker. Lost sight of the Aurora again. I need to put a beacon by the Aurora. Over that way. There is another reason I want to head in this direction. I want to confirm for myself that there's no radiation hazard anymore. I think the radiation problem is an early game problem and one we don't need to worry about anymore. But I would like to confirm that by actually getting a bit closer to the wreckage and uh, having a look around. I don't want to go too close, because obviously, you know, there's sea monsters there. Uh, let's see. I wonder if there's any wreckage kind of on the borderline region here. I remember this area being good for salt. There we go. All good. Two or three bits here, actually. That should be all we need to finish this off. Is there another bit beyond? No. Get a bubble of oxygen. Not that we really need to worry about that anymore. How are we doing? I can fit one more piece. This is going to be a lot of metal. Come on, there's going to be one piece of metal just lying around somewhere. There we go. Okay, let's just surface quick. We are pretty close to the Aurora. We would definitely be within range of its radiation if it was still leaking radiation everywhere. But we did go on board. We did seal all of our crap up again. So I think we're okay. Oh, and the base went to emergency power. That's fine. Kind of thought that was going to happen. I think that probably means the compost generator, uh, the bioreactor, has run out of fuel again. Which is why I do really want to switch over to thermal power. Not thermal power, nuclear power, nuclear power, nuclear reactor is what we're aiming for. That's, that's why I'm doing pretty much all of this. And we haven't seen any... What was that? Everything went dark. Even though I'm not in the ba in the in the base, my my own lights dimmed for no reason. I was going to say we built this because there were a couple of reef backs around the area, but they left and haven't come back, which is a shame. Because I really like those guys. Welcome aboard, Captain. Just like big crustaceany whales. I wish there was more giant ambivalent life around like that. Because I do think it looks pretty amazing. Uh, now we do have a problem here, because. I actually need to convert all of this stuff to metal, and I can't because we don't have any power. Uh, shoot. Okay. Can I grab some more fungal sample? I'm going to dump my titanium for the moment. I'm going to need the inventory space for what I'm planning on doing next. Can I get that generator going back up again? There we go. I've got enough. For, I've got one more full charge there. So that should start getting us power, maybe. Okay, we're we're, we're everything's turned on, but we don't actually have any. power banked, which means the fabricator still won't work. 
Oh, no, there it goes. Yeah, I'm not sure that thing's connected properly. It just doesn't seem to be working as it should be. Which is why I need a nuclear reactor. Come on, give me, give me daylight. For the love of God, give me daylight. There we go, daylight's coming. The, where's, the, where's the sun? Oh, it's just rising beyond the wreck of the aurora, I think. Okay, that should work. Maybe we need to build some more solar panels. We're just not banking enough power to get us through the night anymore. I can probably fit a few more on, or I can just build some on top. I could get rid of the lights, but I don't want to get rid of the lights. I like the lights, they're cool. Okay, that's enough to get us started, at least. So, I will take our metal back. No, we're really running into power problems here. <sighs> we just gotta wait, we just gotta wait for that to actually charge up a little bit. I think it's still trying to charge the seam off as well which isn't helping, and obviously this thing is running and using up a lot of power. And just the, ch the charge rate and the drain rate don't seem to be consistent. But okay. That should be enough. We now have everything, I believe, that we need for nuclear power. So, three lead plates, lubricant, titanium ingot, um, and I'm probably going to need that uranium as well. Where did that end up? Can anyone see my uranium? I've, I've lost my uranium. Aha, there we go. Tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So, can I make a nuclear reactor? I can. Perfect. Where am I going to build it? Uh, I might actually need to build another structure out of the bottom here so I can actually fit this in. I don't know how big it's going to be. Oh, you're actually quite big. Yeah, I'm going to need to make another foundation for you. Uh, which means I do need more titanium. Damn it. Okay, back we go. Uh, luckily we do have a good amount of titanium waiting around. foundation. Do we want to where do we want this foundation to go? I can't go this way because I'll block the moon pool. Uh, I guess we just want to build another one or two coming out this way. Uh, that should that should work. Uh, let's put one more down. I've got the titanium for it. Might as well. No need to restrict ourselves on space too much. There we go. And it does actually give us more hull strength as well for the base. Not that that... Oh, wait on. Did I just lose a solar panel? I could have sworn I had six solar panels before, and now there's five. And for some reason I'm checking under the base like it might have just fallen off. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's do this nuclear reactor, shall we? Uh, you're very close to my face. I don't know how close you need to be the base to actually get power connected up, but let's see. Let's put you here and see what happens. So this isn't the final art for it, it's just a placeholder asset at the moment. I'm actually going to hope it actually works properly. Nuclear reactor. You need uranium and disinfected water. Oh, okay. Disinfected water. Man, I haven't made disinfected water in a long time. What do I need for that? Bleach. Oh yeah, that's right. It's made out of bleach for some reason. I need salt and common coral. Okay. Okay. Salt and common coral, I can do. Actually make a couple of these. 
We've got plenty of salt as well. Okay, success. Now can I have nuclear power, please? Oh, damn it, I didn't turn the bleach into water. I skipped a step. I skipped a step, that's all. Cool, right. Now we should better do this. Okay, are you... are you on? Ooh, yeah, you are doing stuff. You're doing stuff quite quickly. I'm gonna assume you're connected up to my base? Wow, okay, yeah, we've got... We can store up to 1300, 1350 power. And that is, even with everything running, increasing at quite a rate. Okay. Nuclear power for the win. Uh, I am tempted to put down a few more solar panels just to keep us going. They're pretty cheap as well, titanium and quartz. We've got plenty of titanium now, so I just need to get some quartz and we can do that. Let's finish that off. Have I got any quartz in storage? If we quartz in storage, we will do that right now. What was that? I, what? I don't know what that's trying to do. I've got one piece of quartz. Is that all? Oh, no. Now is a diamond. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I can do another three solar panels. Put some of that stuff back we don't need anymore. I'll keep the disinfected water and the bleach there for when we need to reload that thing. And... Alright, if I break this down... Should be okay. Let's have some more solar power just in case. Actually, I wonder if I can build this on the roof. I don't know if that's a good spot for solar power, but... Oh yeah, I can, actually. Yep, yeah, we'll have one up here as well. That's pretty cool that we can actually just put them on the roof like that. So we should have all the power now. And if we even with if the reactor and the bio if the nuclear reactor and the bioreactor stop working, we've got such a huge storage capacity that that might even get us through the night without problem. We can store up to fifteen hundred power there. With all those solar panels working as well. That might just give a uh, give us a big enough reserve to do that. So yeah, I think we're we're doing really well. We've got all the power in the world. We've got plenty of food. We've got plenty of water. We have loads of resources. There's nothing else we really need to build right away. I mean, I still need to get some stalker teeth to try and finish off up here. And I suppose the only other thing we haven't done yet is an aquarium. We can do large aquariums. Or small aquariums to hold fish in if we just never want to have to worry about fish again so that might be something we can do I don't know if I can do anything with that yet but okay we might extend our sea base a little bit further see if we can't start growing some fish and uh, yeah we might go from there but I'm gonna take a break now so thank you guys for watching hope you have enjoyed this do feel free to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe and hopefully I'm going to see you all later for the next one. Bye.